I once visited another church, thank God it wasn't mine, that uh, this speaker was speaking about waiting. And he came out on stage, and I'm not exaggerating a bit, he just stood there. And he gave eye contact to everyone in the audience, and my golly, there were a thousand people there. I tell you, it was at least a half an hour before he spoke. And then he made the point about, uh, well, you've been waiting for this. And, uh, uh, <laughs> and about how if you did it right, it could be the greatest blessing in your your life. Well, I didn't do it right, and a lot of the people around me didn't do it right. We were whispering, what in the world is he doing? And, uh, well, you know, though, I think back, that was, that was over 20 years ago. I've forgotten most of the talks that I've heard, but I remember that one. What a powerful statement that was about waiting. And truthfully, I don't remember what he said after that, but I do remember that technique that he used. In Psalms 37, verse 9, it says, Those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Now, when it says inherit the earth, it means inherit all the good things in life, uh, that you won't have the struggle. Uh, it will just come. It will be poured out into your lap. St. Vincent de Paul said, the affairs of God are accomplished little by little. The Spirit of God is neither violent nor hasty. Uh, sometimes we think about God's will as being violent, uh, and it's not it never has been. It never will be. God's will is absolute good for you. And when you wait upon God's will, then it's absolute good for you. But sometimes, because we're in human body and in human mind, the hardest thing to do is to wait. This is especially true when we're in hurry in a hurry, and we want things to happen right now, if not sooner. I actually thought about doing this broadcast just by standing here for a while and then making my point, but you know, and it's nothing against you, you and everybody else would have uh, turned it off, tuned it out, thinking something's wrong with this. God's plan doesn't always unfold in the way that we would like or with the speed that we would like it to. But as thoughtful men and women who trust in an all-loving, all-knowing God, we must learn to wait patiently for God to reveal the good and to work out God's plan in our lives. There have been some times, and if I had the time, I would share with you the times that I was put into a waiting pattern that I now look back and say, thank God that this happened, that I wasn't able to do my own will and rush it and push it forward. Thank God, because things happened, good happened, unbelievable miracles happened that would have never happened had I tried to push it through sooner. Humans often think we know precisely what we want and exactly when we want it, but we don't always know what's best. God does. God has a perfect plan for each of us. We simply need to trust God enough enough to wait, to let God work, work out God's perfect timing. After all, God is trustworthy, and God always knows best. And I pray today that if you're in a waiting pattern, you allow it to bless you. You allow it to work itself out, to trust God 
and continually remind yourself that God is working behind the scenes in your benefit. God bless you.